We wanted something slender, something really elegant for her sabers. Basically, it's a katana and a shoto. But we were also trying to work with the technology that we need to talk to our lighting console. So with the batteries and with the receivers, all the different wireless GAC we had to put inside of it, the saber kept getting bigger and bigger. And Dave was just, no, <laughs> it can't look like this. And we went through a lot of different iterations where we basically ended up slimming it down and having to use an external battery to get to what we needed so it looked correct. So as soon as yeah, as soon as we get them, I'll get them over to you. So it looks good. I'm, I'm... What did you do today? The big advance that we had with lightsabers over the past few years, of course, is getting that interactive lighting on the characters in the shots. <laughs> the DP can now frame based upon where the light is in the scene coming from the lightsaber. So all of a sudden, we can have a really kind of moody scene. Ahsoka coming through the trees and play her in silhouette until she turns her lightsabers on and then it shapes her face.